yeah, it's my fourth year with Honda. Um, obviously, we've got an all-new bike this year. It's nice to be in a familiar setup, obviously, as per usual. Same people and same teammate uh, in, in Tommy's last year and a new one in Jay. Um, so it feels like a good environment. Everyone's happy and I think we're all gagging to get racing, but it's probably goes for everyone in the country at the minute. <laughs> Nice to ride with Jake. Um, we've known each other years and years. We've raced since on 50, so it's um, yeah, it's nice. I'm, it's just nice to ride with people. You know, the track today and the weather. With the team, I can't ask for anything more. Um, at this point in my career, I don't want to race GPs anymore. You know, I'm I'm solely focused on British Championships. I feel this is the best team for me, the best fit for me to race British Championships, and um, they give me everything I need to to deliver that. Um, so. I couldn't ask for anything more from the team really, I love the Honda and um, it's a very small close-knit team and um, but you don't need anything more in British Championship, it's, uh, it works absolutely perfect. So I have, I've won races, so I've shown I can do it and that's exactly what I want, where I want to be. I've had a lot of letdowns and crashes, should I say, so this year I'm hoping to sort it out, especially with the team I'm on, with the experience around us. I'm looking to build on that and grow my confidence. We did four races last year and it was a bit of a weird one for me, like in February I was really ready to go and then obviously it all went wrong um, with Covid and everything and then I sort of came in <clears throat> and obviously had a good result, won the first one, but I think I was almost like a little bit over the hill at that point, like I was really ready and, um, and I kind of got worse and worse, do you know what I mean? I think I'd been hammering it since November because I'd had my leg injury so I was kind of trying to build up momentum from that and so I was a bit burnt out and I had a couple of good good races obviously Hawkstone and then um, and then half of uh, half of um, Cusses was good and then Land Drake and Fat Cat weren't all that really I've hurt my thumb. Uh, with the winter I've just took it a lot steadier than I did last year because I expected the season to start a bit later um, obviously a lot of tracks have been closed we didn't go to Spain um, days like today you don't need to be in Spain when you've got this track you know um, I think it's it's different. It's nice to go there and ride the hard pack, but I think this year it's not benefited me, um, or it wouldn't have benefited me to go to Spain. Um, we did have good riders in the MX Nationals last year. Um, on paper, there was a lot of riders, but a lot of them were very inconsistent, and I was pretty steady every week. I think I didn't miss the podium one in a in a single moto, so that's what won me the championship. I I um, I wasn't the most winningest rider of the year, but I um, I won the championship, so it. It was the only one to win and I won it, so I was happy with that. Uh, to be fair, my bonuses are more for the British Championship, do you know, than they are for MX Nationals, but it, once you're in a race, it, it's equally as important. You know, the British Championship holds that status of being British champion, so if I'd want to win the two, it'd be the British Championship, but um, you go in the way, into the weekends wanting to win either, either way, you know. I've been fortunate in that, obviously, I've got a track at my dad's to ride, but it's still um, not quite what it's made up to be, obviously, in terms of um, the weather, it's been really bad. And obviously it's, an, it's quite a winter track here, but it's still been really tough with the weather. But also, you know, it's all very well riding around a track on your own, but it's not good, do you know what I mean? It's not that productive. So it's been tough because obviously it's quite strict on who you can have and whatever else. And I have to respect my parents. I don't live here, but I have to respect them. And so, yeah, that's been a bit weird, um, but we're getting, we're, we're getting towards the end of that a little bit now and obviously we're uh, in a team environment, we're professionals so we're all doing the right thing and, um, and building up. I mean the, th the thing with Jake and the thing with Tommy is what you get is a vast amount of experience. You know, they've, they've been at every level in Grand Prix, you know, Tommy's rode at every level in America, Jake's been to America, so what you get with those two guys is you, you get two people that know exactly what they want um, and that's in every department of the team you know whether it be for the clothing the bikes the engine the suspension they know exactly what they want so 
from that side, you know, they, they are relatively easy for me because they have direct dialogue with Ryan with the engines. Um, Jake has his own suspension guy. Tommy has his own suspension guy. So they actually are very easy to manage in that way. Jake is very, very focused in his work. Um, loves his ride time, whether it be on a motocross bike, a trials bike, an enduro bike. He loves it all. Um, Tommy clearly loves racing still, loves to ride a bike, um, but is more emphasis just on riding, whereas Jake has got that split between riding and work. Um, so it, it, they're two different animals, um, very different characters. I think it's the 10th time I've been on the new bike and I feel really good. I'm just not trying not to do too much at the minute, like riding twice a week and um, still feel like I've lot, got a lot to a lot to gain, but I know I can get it pretty quick, so I'm just holding back. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously we've got, you know, a little while until we race. Not that long, but still a little while. And uh, yeah, so it, but it was nice today because the track's quite dry and quite hard going rather than being a bit wet. And, and so I've had to change my bike a bit. And uh, obviously having Tommy here as well, it was good for a bit of competition. And you just give that extra couple of percent, uh, which you know, all of a sudden you feel it physically and, and all that. So um, it's been really good. I knew it would be good though. We did it last year and done it in years gone by as well. You get someone, you know, I don't have him up here all the time because he's competition. And I'm not really, I don't really want that. Do you know what I mean? And, um, but, you know, he's been up here and we've had a bit of a square up today and it's good. Do you know what I mean? It's, I think it's probably good for him as well as it is me. Because, um, yeah, obviously, I mean, I see him probably as one of my biggest competitors for the championship, so it's weird. Um, and I've not very, I haven't got very thick skin, so I'm not very good at, you know, having him up here and being best of buddies with him. Because although I've known Tommy since I was six years old and we get on good, I have to have that barrier a little bit because I'm, you know, I struggle to, you know, I can't just be like, all right, mate, and then just hammer him through the fence on the last turn if I have to, which I don't want to, but it'll come down to that. It comes down to it, do you know what I mean? So. Um, but we get on fine and like I said, it's been good having him here. Bit of a square up if you like as well and, um, and he's fast, he's always fast. So, um, you know, it doesn't matter how much I ride here. <clears throat> it's always different every time I ride as well, but he's always gonna be quick, you know, so um, that's good. And like I say, the dynamics a bit, it's a bit, it's weird, but it's not weird. We both, we both know where we're at. We both respect each other. We both know what we're doing. He, we live, we have very different lives and different attitudes, but we know what we're at, we know where we're at, do you know what I mean, so. Me and Jake have been rivals forever, do you know, from we, on the 60s, if you look at the results, it's me or Jake, one or the other. He had a lot of injuries when he was young and missed a lot of years, but I've got results from the 65s where it's Jake first or me first and Jake second, so it's, it's just is what it is, I think. We've, it's not just a teammate rivalry. Um, there's other good riders gonna be in the British Championship, so I don't focus too much on one rider personally. I know Jake would be fast, but I know there'll be a lot of other fast riders as well. So I, I just try and work on myself and come ready to the races. The, everything was a little bit delayed, obviously, with COVID. Um, but I wasn't in a rush to get a bike purely because I wanted to have a little bit of downtime after the season. Our last year's season ran on quite late with it being... Was it November? Early November? Or is it late October? I can't really remember, but uh, it was late and... I just wanted to have two months off the bike really, which is what we did. Um, and then I got a bike, I think the 4th of January or 6th of January. And I've been, maybe one day, I started one day a week for the first month and the last week, last month I've been doing two days a week. Um, so not hammering it, but I feel pretty confident on the bike. I like the bike. Um, I think it suits me. It's, it's definitely better than last year's model for me. Um, uh, my first impression was how well it turns and the balance coming in the corner, it just sits, um, on braking it sits up a little bit higher than last year's and the balance in the corner is is perfect you know it, it just you just sort of go around it without with so much less effort and uh, the team's worked on the engine a little bit they've we've got our first pipe today properly we tested some other ones but the first time using the Krapovich today um, Ryan's really good with the engine uh, but we put the I actually really really like the standard bike I like the st standard base I I enjoy the engine the characteristics I like we actually went one way, then we went another way, and I said, look, I really like the standard bike, so can we bring it back to that and maybe just smooth it out of touch, which is what, we, um, what we've ended with, and now we've put a pipe on today, which made it way faster. 
you know, we, we didn't have that same reaction with the other pipes we tried. And um, it made it a big difference on power. So I've actually then, on the ECU, we've lowered the power for me today because for me, smooth power delivery and, um, and not too much torque because I feel like it's easier on my arms and I can race the bike better. I got on it on Christmas Eve and we had a ride up here and it was quite wet and Mark East would have done a bit of a setting for me. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I got on it and it felt really strange. It was really like, I was a bit like, ooh, caught me off guard. The power was amazing, but the, the setup's really different. The balance is different. And um, for the first half a day, I was a bit like, oh, I'm not sure, you know, because it was really different. And I'm quite a front endy rider and the, and the attitude of the bike is so different. Um, but then, you know, we changed it and by day three on the bike, I was in love with it, do you know what I mean? And we kept it standard for like five or six times, five times I rode it standard. I was amazed by how good it was standard. Um, you know, I watched some reviews, I, I watched all the bike reviews and I watched some of the American ones and they were on about how there's no bottom end and this and that. And I got on it with standard gear in and I was amazed by the power. I really ride off the bottom end and um, it's amazed me really. And obviously now we've adjusted it and made a few different um, bits and pieces. Ryan's done an engine. Uh, and we put the Acropovic exhaust on and it's unbelievable to be honest with you. Yeah, I actually slowed it down a bit today. So yeah, really, really impressed. Um, for me, I always look for a connection. Um, so bottom end, but it's almost before bottom end, the connection with the throttle. Um, and the previous bike, I was always chasing that a little bit. I loved the chassis, but I was always chasing a little bit. And sometimes perhaps I was betraying that I wanted bottom end where it wasn't quite what I wanted. I wanted connection with the throttle and this new bike just has that. It's just, you feel it even on the stand, it's just, but, but, it's there. So for me, it's a massive gain straight away before we even touched it. So um, yeah, really, really impressed. And like I said, I've done, you know, a couple of handfuls of rides on it now and um, every time we're just getting better and better, but all in good time. I'm not pushing, to, pushing the, it, it too much just yet. Yeah, so like I say, we started with a standard engine and got the set up right, got the balance right. The balance, for me, it was hard to find, not hard to find the balance, but we went, we put our last year's setting in the suspension, which was probably not the right thing to do. But we, it was good to start because we knew where we were at and, and straight away changed the balance um, of the bike, um, you know, got the, got the forks up a bit um, and uh, Mark was riding, Mark Eastwood who does my suspension was riding the bike as well so for me that was such a shortcut in getting my setup good and um, got that good and then at that point I asked the team if I could try a couple of engines and it was good timing because they had had um, some joy with two different specs and um, yeah we tried two different engines, one was really really strong bottom end which they know I like um, and one was a little bit spread and I actually went for the spread because I have the connection on the throttle which I've always been after so um, yeah really really impressed and to be honest like the hydraulic clutch is just such an asset for me you know I to be honest I had a few years on KTM where I had a hydraulic clutch so I didn't particularly struggle with a cable but now I've gone back I'm you know it's it's really good and and the durability of the clutch on the new bike is fantastic compared to the last one um, sometimes a heavy rider like me i'm quite aggressive i could i was quite hard on the clutch at times um or i am quite hard on the clutch at times and this new one is just um you know just completely different kettle of fish so yeah really good i was a bit of a whole shot man on the 250s that's for sure and to be honest if you look on my record i've pretty good starts on the 450 really and especially since i got on honda um, you know, Ryan's always got a good bike that's good out of the gate and um, so I, th I don't think much will change this year really and I'm not too fat at the minute. I've got a couple of pounds to lose but I'm just going steady, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs>
if we can pull together some top six results on a regular basis, uh, I'd have said that we're, we're well on the stepping stones to, to going forward. Well, in 2018 was, I won the British Championship race at Duns in the mud. And um, ever since then, it's like, I've had a result and then I've never had the second race result. I've never put two solid motors together to get like there in the championship or, so with this year with Honda, we're really gonna work on, work on my consistency and then get like, even top five results start off with top, even top 10 if I'm having a bad day, just to get the results coming and then eventually build on that and try and go for more top threes wins. That's definitely where I wanna be. Every time I get on the bike, it's just like, it's a bit of like a, what is it? It's like shocked us a bit how good it is, especially on the Honda, like handles a dream. Like it handles, it's the best handling bike I've rode and I've rode quite a lot of bikes. Well, the bike at the minute, I've only rode the practice bike, but even that feels as though it's, like I said to the mechanics today, I said, I feel as though I just go and race this now. Like we've never really done much testing yet. We've just been concentrating on getting the hours in for us. But the bike, considering how little testing we've done, I feel as though I just go and race it there and then. Being, being with Dave and having him as like a mentor, it's, I've never really had someone take as much time out of the day to come. It's like last week, I told them the day before I was coming here, took the time out to come here, riding with us for two days. So he's like, me riding for him, it's like me, I'm a little project for him to get where I need to be. And like, I couldn't thank him enough for what he's done so far and I'm sure he's gonna do a lot more with us. And then I got the opportunity to come on with Dave and it's like straight back up, training hard again, I'm doing everything I need to be. And then especially with Jake and Tommy, someone like people I've looked up to since I was a kid, getting the chance to ride with them week in, week out really good. With the training side of it, I've actually stepped up. Before in the winter, I was I took it quite steady for two months and then I started um, December just working on my body more so rather than just pounding out like hard runs or hard cycles um, because I've had injuries over the years and I had a lot of imbalances. Um, I had a sore shoulder that I've, um, you've probably heard of in my vlogs, me moaning about my shoulder quite often. Um, so strength work on that, strength work on my core. Um, I, I, yeah, little things, little injuries like I've hurt my ribs over the years and then you, you can't do abs for so long. So really just a lot of trying to get my body 100% again so then I can push when I need to. Um, and I've done that for a couple of months. Um, and then I've started, yeah, a bit longer cycles and then some intense, intensity, yeah. I've had a couple of good weeks the last two weeks. I've tried to do a little bit of a base period, like I was in Spain where I'm riding and training every day, or if I'm not riding, I'm doing uh, two sessions in a day. Um, so just a hard last couple of weeks. But um, yeah, I enjoy all that. You know, it's not really a chore to me. I think it's nice and uh, I enjoy training. Sometimes I do it with friends or I do enjoy that side of things. I think that's why, you know, I'm not old now, but I think that's why I can go for a few years because I enjoy today, I enjoy training in the gym, whether it be on my own, whether it be with my friends, I, the feeling I get after it, I feel like accomplished and um, it's a nice feeling. So I, I sort of look, look forward to that. Yeah, we're firing on all cylinders at the minute. We've got pushing the vlog a little bit, which has gone well. Really, um, yeah, really happy with the, yeah, the reaction of everyone from that. People are enjoying it um, and seeing a little bit of a different side to me as well. I think a lot, get a lot of people that says, oh, I thought you were as a tosser the whole career sort of thing for the last 15 years and now um, you're actually all right. Do you know, you'll be surprised how many comments I get like that. Uh, some probably still think I am just a bit of a tosser, um, which is fair enough. But the overall reaction from everyone in the social media and it's nice, you know, nice for people to get a little bit of an insight on how, you know, what you do in a day and when you go to a track and what you do at the track. Because sometimes you just think, oh, everyone knows this stuff and they've seen it, but they see you racing, they see picture on Instagram after picture, but they don't actually see your own track and a day like today where we're all riding together. And um, I think it just opens them up, just makes it more accessible and they feel like they're more part of it, which is nice, I believe.
I suspect Jay could be winning races. Um, there's two or three other good riders um, in the championship, so it's not necessary that, you know, if you're feeling 100% fantastic by the time the season comes to try and win, but it's quite a long season and I expect it will go on late into the year as well, so it's not always, if you're not always on top form now every weekend and sometimes you just have to take a third or take a second and that's what I did the, the previous year and it won me the championship, so the goal is to win the championships and if I can win as many races on the way, that always, that's great as well. So hopefully, you know, looking forward with optimism, um, it looks like British Championship should start in May. Um, MX Nationals could start a little bit earlier or start just after, but I think, you know, we're going to get a solid season in. Um, we'll get full eight rounds in the British and a full six rounds in MX Nationals. Uh, and of course, we've got the beach race at the end of the year. So. Um, yeah, I'm very optimistic for both guys going forward.